One of my favorite tools to use or options with layers is the alignment options. So if you click one layer, you won't really have these alignment options available. They're, they're sort of faded out. And whenever you see something that's faded out, it means that it's not available for you at this time. But if we select multiple layers, which you can do by shift clicking the next layer, or say you click the bottom one and shift click the top one, it selects all of those in that series that are between the first click and the second click. Or you can spe select specific ones by clicking one and then command clicking on a Mac control on a PC, the other layers that you want. So if I want to select all of these, I select all of them. And then you see that we have these alignment tools up here. So these are pretty self-explanatory once you've sort of used them, but I'm going to just go through them really quickly. So if you align left edges, it's going to align the left edge of all of these images on the left side. So see how they've all been bumped to the left side. The reason why the bird is not on the left side is because this is a PNG image where even though it's transparent on the left hand side, um, that still is the edge. So the edge isn't specifically the edge of the beak, it's the edge of the file itself. I hope that makes sense. So center align, going to put everything in the center or the center of the, it's going to center everything together. Notice that it doesn't center everything to the canvas. I'll show you how to do that in just a second. And then right, we'll put it on the right. I'm going to skip this one right here, distribute vertically, and just show you, you can align it to the top, align it to the bottom, align it to the center. So that's just a quick way to align multiple layers. This might be a little bit more helpful when you're creating things like logos or using text and you want to align them to you know, the exact center of an image or things like that. These other ones are pretty interesting too. So distribute vertically or distribute horizontally. I'm gonna move these layers apart and say we have these two layers, the elephant and the bird on the left-hand side and then the kid on the right-hand side. If we say distribute uh, horizontally, what it's going to do is going to put them equidistantly apart from each other. So it's a little bit harder to see because these aren't like perfect squares. If we want to see it a little bit better, let me just turn these off. We're going to choose our ellipse tool and we're just going to create a quick circle. So to do that, I'm just going to hold down the shift button when creating using the ellipse tool and it creates a perfect circle. Now to create a new version of this or copy it, you can do multiple things. You can press Command C to copy and then Command V to paste, or you can press the Option key with the Move tool and then click and drag to create a new copy. Similar to how we created the new artboard, uh, if you watched that lesson, uh, the Option key allows you to duplicate layers just by clicking a layer and dragging it. So now we have these circles. So let's say we have our circles kind of all over the place, but we want to align them horizontally. What we can do is, and space them out evenly, we can do this. And then also, if we want them in a row, what we would do is this. Does that make sense? Distribute horizontally so they're evenly spaced, left to right, and then we put them in a row. Now let's just do move them back again and say we want them in a row vertical in, in sort of a an evenly distributed line. So first I'll do the opposite in, in the steps. We're going to align horizontal centers and then distribute evenly. So this is going to come in handy when you're creating more intricate graphics, logos, that kind of thing, where you have multiple little icons or, or infographic type things where you have specific images. I've used this, uh, I've done this when I create sort of grids for photo projects. And let me just show you that really quickly. Actually, um, I have my, in my pictures, we have our Christmas card from this year. So I use that same technique to create these little squares and then I use those alignment tools to create this grid. So that's how you would do that without kind of meticulously 
going through and zooming in and trying to match it up um, yourself uh, by your eye, you can do that quickly with these alignment tools. Now before I let you go, there are some more options that I want to show you and specifically how you can actually align things quickly to the canvas itself and not to just the layers. The easiest way to do this is say we have one selected. If you click this dot dot dot, if you don't see more options up here, if you click dot dot dot, you see there's actually more options. You have more options for distributing the layers. Um, earlier it was distributing by the center, but you can also distribute um, by the top or the bottom or the center of the frame. To distribute or to align to the canvas itself, there's this align to option, so select canvas. And now if we get out of this and we just select one of these layers and click the align, it's going to align everything or that layer to the center. So if we select all of these, for example, and we click align, it's going to align all of them oops, to the center like so. So now everything is aligned to the center of our image, okay? So those are a couple things to note. I know that's something that a lot of people kind of are confused about is how to align to the center of the, the canvas. And that, now there's that quick option uh, by changing the align to from selection to canvas. All right, hope this helps and we'll see you in the next lesson.